Look at this thing go. Terrifying tornadoes unleashed once again in the south. We gotta back up. This twister caught on camera rumbling through the town of Leslie before popping up again in Cordill, a couple hours south of Atlanta, crossing over a major interstate, I-75, as cars just drive by. A shattered tree in the Atlanta suburb of Decatur crashing only two feet from Brenda Blanchard's sleeping mother. I saw a bolt of lightning, and then it was like a bomb hit. It was like boom and crash. The same fallen tree also nearly claiming a life next door where Ken Burley's mom was right down the hall. How close do you think your mom came to having a much more serious situation? On her if it wasn't for the will of the creator, right? She probably wouldn't even be here right now. Tornadic activity stretching all the way to Florida's East Coast. As twisters also decimated parts of Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, and South Carolina this week, claiming three lives. That storm also prompting a rare tornado emergency near Allendale, South Carolina. New video shows one couple appearing to drive right through that twister. Yeah, we in one. Debris flying just feet in front of them and smashing their back window. Also in South Carolina, Ronald Scott's home lifted up and shredded to pieces. Thankfully, he wasn't inside at the time. And just turn in and, and look, it's, yeah. <laughs> Hard to process. Ronald, like so many in the South, now forced to start over. And officially, it's only 17 confirmed tornadoes at this point, but that is only because conditions were too dangerous yesterday for many surveyors to get out here and take a closer look. In Savannah, we are expecting another round of severe weather early next week as well. Uh, Back to you. All right, Sam, thank you very much. And millions remain at risk for these severe, what, the severe storms today. Al, what's it looking like? Well, I got to tell you, this really is relatively unprecedented. We have, we've we had three outbreaks in a row, uh, March 21st to the 23rd, 113 tornado reports across eight states. Then last week, we had it from uh, Tuesday, March 29th through the 31st, 92 reports of tornadoes across 13 states. And then this one that we've just been through, 62 tornado reports so far, six states. The last three weeks, 267 tornado reports, hardest hit states, Mississippi, Texas, Alabama, and Georgia. And tonight, today, we are looking at more severe weather along the Atlantic coast, the mid-Atlantic coast, from Norfolk, Wilmington, all the way down to Tampa and Orlando, wind gusts of 60 miles per hour. A few tornadoes possible today in North Carolina to Virginia as this system makes its way up to the northeast, slow, soaking rains in the flooding areas here in the northeast, severe threat for eastern Virginia, on into North North Carolina tomorrow, colder air comes behind it. We're going to see a mix of rain and snow back around the Great Lakes from Illinois all the way up into Maine. Now we're looking at rainfall amounts finally before everything ends, possibly on Friday, upwards of three inches of rain. And we look ahead to next week, 13 million people at risk on Monday from Chanute down to Waco, Dallas and McAllister, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we move into Tuesday, 15 million people at risk. Joplin, Missouri, Dallas, Shreveport, Little Rock. And as we move into Wednesday, we've got a risk again for 17 million people. Little Rock, Memphis, uh, Springfield, Kansas City, and Dallas. So we're going to be watching this. This potentially could be four weeks in a row, guys. Just kind of crazy. Wow. Right now. Relentless. All mm -hmm. right, Al, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.